Hi, this is Jen Barney from the Toasty Meringue. I'm just going to jump right on in and start explaining to you how to make this great butter toffee recipe. The ingredients for this recipe are very easy to remember. It's a cup, a cup, a cup. Of. So you got a cup of sugar, a cup of butter, and eventually we're going to go into a cup of chocolate. Right now I have a small saucepan and I'm adding the salt, which is half a teaspoon, full teaspoon. It's, it's your preference, really. I happen to have pink sea salt here. And you have your butter and your sugar, and you're just going to mix it all together. You're going to put it on high heat, and right away I'm going to stir it frequently just to make sure that there's not any uh, sugar pockets that are hanging out at the bottom because there is a small chance that those can burn before the butter hits it. So you're just going to want to make sure it's uniformly put together, and at that point you don't have to stir it. You can just keep a good eye on it. It's going to continue to boil until it reaches 295 to 300 degrees, and you're going to see that it's going to start to thicken, and it might even separate at a certain point, and that's fine. Just take a whisk and bring it back together. At a certain point though, you are gonna see it start to deepen in color, and that's wonderful. You're gonna to wanna to deepen it enough that it starts to look like a Werther's original candy. And if you don't have a thermometer, that's fine. Just look for that certain color. And once it hits, uh, it does go fairly fast at that point. While this is going, you wanna prepare a pan that has a silt patch or parchment paper or something that you can easily pour this mixture into right away. Because once it gets off that heat, you're gonna to wanna to immediately pour it. You're not gonna to wanna to wait any amount of time. And you're also gonna to wanna to have an offset spatula on hand as well because it moves really fast once it goes and you're going to want to have everything ready to go. So right now you can see I've got that deep color and I'm going to pour it onto my soap hat and then I have my uh, offset spatula right there ready to go and you're going to spread it out. You only have a couple seconds to work with before it starts to harden enough that it doesn't spread very easily. So I'm going to allow this to harden for just a couple minutes. I still want it to be nice and warm and it's so easy. You just take your cup of chocolate chips any chocolate chip would be good here. Milk chocolate would be great. I happen to have dark chocolate here. And you just spread them out and you wait maybe another minute until all that chocolate starts to melt very nicely. And you're going to take that same offset spatula and spread it out. To finish, I prefer to put roasted nuts on with a little bit of sea salt. Right here, I'm doing half with nuts and the other half, I'm just putting some sanding sugar down and also a little bit of sea salt. From here, I'm gonna put it into the fridge and I'm just looking for the chocolate to harden up. It doesn't have to be in there for too long. Once it comes out, the best part is when you get to break it up. It's very gratifying just to break all those pieces up. An important tidbit about making toffee that you need to know is how sensitive it is to humidity in the air. Right now it's the summertime and uh, it's very humid out. We live right on the Mississippi so there's lots of moisture in this air. I would not make this toffee more than a day in advance in this temperature and climate. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that um, after about 24 hours, you're going to notice that the toffee starts to get sticky because it collects that moisture in the air. So one day in advance or make it the morning of in the summer months when it's humid out. And in the winter or in desert climates, it's this is something you do not have to worry about. It'll last for a good week or more even, which makes it really great for gift giving during the holiday season. Thank you so much for listening how to make this very easy butter toffee recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it. Take care.